Perfect. So, Dr. Kiefer, pleased to have you here. You're going to introduce the 2011 vintage, respectively the current vintage of the Prince von Hessen Rieslings. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you <laughs> for the invitation. Um, yeah. As uh, last year, we start with our age Riesling, Prince von Hessen Riesling QBA. It's a uh, wine in our say, portfolio which has the uh, most uh, wide range where we sell it in the last years. And Vintage 11 was a, I say, fairly difficult vintage, beginning with a very, very dry springtime, and then normal summer, and then a very wet. Uh, late summer, months of August and September, so that the uh, grapes became ripe in the beginning of September, and so we started the earliest harvest ever we had in Rheingau in the second week of September, and the harvest lasted until the beginning of October, so it was, I'd say, more or less three or four weeks earlier than in a normal year. And this age Riesling is already bottled, so that we are selling now Vintage 11 because Vintage 10 was so small that we now yeah, have to sell the Vintage 11. The, the age Riesling from its characteristic is a yeah, lively, refreshing type of Riesling nice balance between acidity and residual sugar, so that it's very nice to have glass after glass and you're not feeling tired after drinking that type of Riesling. And that's, uh, I say, our philosophy of all our wines, to have this refreshing, fruity type of Riesling and not this only, I say, powerful and mouth-filling wines. They should be really, um, say, make fun to drink. I think with this age Riesling and even the first um, statement from friends and customers say, okay, now that's eaten the wine again after the last vintage, it makes it really fun to drink. The second wine in our portfolio is the Prince von Hessen Riesling Cabinet, which is in the middle part of our product pyramid. It's a wine which has more, I say, density, which is longer in the aftertaste, more mouth filling and I say a more a little bit more powerful wine, but also maybe a good wine for people who do not know a little bit more about Riesling. I think the age Riesling is something even say nine out of ten people who like this wine. This Riesling cabinet I think you might be better have heard a little bit about Riesling before and it's a nice wine to have just to drink a glass of wine, but it's also a perfect food um, uh, wine which, which um, matches very well with food. So with this um, vintage 11 of the cabinet, it will take another two months before we sell this. For the moment, uh, vintage 10 is the wine we are selling. Especially the cabinet also needs a little bit longer time to to develop, therefore we are quite happy even to have a little stock of the Vintage 10. But what we now have in the glass is the Vintage 11, and that wine shows really the potential of the Vintage 11, that we have here really powerful wine, very accurate type of Riesling, very precise, and so it makes it really fun to taste the Vintage 11, and um, I'm, I'm very proud of that, what we have um, harvested in Rheingau. And so I think in the next maybe 12 months we will have a lot of fun with Vintage 11. Yeah. Uh, let's say in the dry way, high end of what we do, it's uh, Johannes Berger Klaus first growth. And what we now have here is Vintage 10 
because even Vintage 11 is still in the tank and has to mature and to ripe. And Granitaga uh, Klaus, the single vineyard where this wine is coming from, is really the, the heart of our grape production. It's a grand cru vineyard, and so it's a complex wine, high density, long lasting, and even a wine. If you look for something to mature, then look on the Granitaga Klaus first growth which has such a high potential, even if it's a dry wine, dry style wine, um, that you can mature it for a really long time and becomes better and better. So that we decided at the winery even to sell this wine at least one year after harvest, because this time this wine really needs to develop.